In this video, I'm going to discuss 10 features about the Beckoff hardware and TwinCat software that are rarely found in other PLCs. Some are obvious and well known, while others are nice features that very few know about. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to discuss is the TwinCat software. You can download the software from the Beckoff website free of charge and install it on a 30-day trial. But what most do not realize is that 30-day trial only applies to the runtime, which means if you want to run on PC-based control and run your PLC program on the PC in which you install the software, you can only do that for the 30 days. And if you need to do it longer, then you will have to purchase yourself a runtime license for that PC, which runs you about $1,500. Now, if you have a device with a PLC runtime installed, such as the CX-1020 right here, you can actually use the software that you installed on your PC to program that device well beyond the 30 days because the development environment never expires. Now, here's my suggestion with all that in mind. If you're going to do a TwinCat system, do not do it as a PC-based control. Actually, buy yourself a um, TwinCat controller, such as the 1020, and with a runtime installed, and install the TwinCat on your um, PC that you're going to use to write the, the program as a 30-day trial, and continue to use that free of charge as a um, development environment. And you'll find that that is actually cheaper, believe it or not, to do it that way because your CXs you know, typically start about seven or $800, which is about half the cost of actually just buying the software to put on the PC. So now let's go on to the next item. Item number two. Let's say you wanted to learn to use TwinCat, but you have no hardware to work with. Well, there's an easy solution to that. If you have a PC with a parallel port, TwinCat can control that parallel port directly. Let's say you um, have a voltmeter. You can hook it up to the pins of your parallel port and watch the um, voltage change as TwinCat controls the outputs. Now, you can also buy yourself a relay board that pl plugs directly into the parallel port for about $35 and then you want to install your software on that 30-day trial, run it as PC-based, and then link it to the parallel port. And if you watch one of my other videos on the quick start, you can actually see how that is done. The next thing I want to discuss is also related to the TwinCast software. The TwinCast software is based on a software package known as CodeAssist, developed by a company named 3S Software. Since that is the case, you can actually freely exchange code and libraries between other systems that are based on CodeAssist, such as Wago. If you follow the links in my description, you can um, find some useful libraries that are free downloads that you can import into TwinCat. The fourth item pertains to the CX controllers. If you purchase a CX controller, such as a CX-1020, with the DVI and USB option, you can plug a monitor, keyboard, and mouse directly into the processor. Once you plug in a monitor, you will see a very familiar screen. That is because the CX is either based on Windows CE or Windows XP embedded. And this gives us a lot of possibilities of what can be done with these processors. And this is what leads us into the next items. The next item pertains to the CX processors with XP Embedded installed. Since XP Embedded is a trimmed down version of Windows XP, you can run Windows applications directly on the controller. Back in the first item, I discussed how the TwinCat development environment is essentially free. So if you installed TwinCat on your PC, you can actually copy a couple directories from the PC onto the CX controller and run the development environment directly on the controller. What that means is if you have a monitor and touchscreen or some sort of mouse hooked onto your controller, then you can go out into the field and actually get online and troubleshoot the program on the controller without the need for a laptop or some separate PC. Okay, we're halfway through the list and now to item number six. Going a little deeper into TwinCat, you can find a function block that is capable of launching a PC application from within the PLC program. Now you may be wondering, well, what good is that? 
Let's say, for instance, you have a batch process, and at the end of the batch process, you need to gather the data out of the PLC and transfer it to a database. Well, in a conventional system, you would have a PC that continuously pulls the PLC, looking for some bid or some trigger to tell it's time to come and grab the data and transfer it to the database. Well, in TwinCat, the program knows the end of the process and can actually launch a application either on the CX itself or on a remote PC that when that application opens up, it can go retrieve the data, transfer it to the database, and then close itself. And what this does is reduce the amount of network traffic required by all of the polling. Now another case may be, let's say your batch process requires um, some ticket to be printed out at the end of the process. Well, there again, within your TwinCat program, you can launch an external application that opens up, prints out the ticket, and then closes itself. And therefore, there's no polling required and no extra software running on the background of a PC until it is called for by TwinCat. From item number six, you may have been wondering, how do you retrieve the data from the Beckhoff TwinCat PLC? Well, Beckhoff supplies a communication driver at no charge that allows you to go in and pull data out of the TwinCat PLC. These drivers come in ActiveX, .NET, DLL, and several other variations to allow almost any development environment to use them. As an added bonus, Microsoft has re recently released uh, free versions of their .NET development environments, known as their Express versions. You can get these in Visual Basic, C Sharp, or several other languages. So in combination with the Microsoft software and the Beckhoff communication driver, you can actually develop uh, HMIs for the TwinCat PLC with no additional cost in software. Item number eight pertains to the TwinCat development environment. TwinCat supports six different programming languages that can easily be mixed and matched to tackle almost any programming task. The different languages include ladder, function block, instruction list, structured text, sequential function chart, and continuous function chart. The next item is the availability of a function block that allows easy integration with an Allen Bradley Slick 500 or MicroLogix. This function block implements the DF1 protocol to natively exchange data with the Slick 500 or MicroLogix using the Beckhoff KL6031 or an EL6031 bus terminal. The last item on my list is about remote I.O. capabilities of the CX processors. Beckhoff has developed two protocols that allow real-time I.O. over Ethernet. One is just known as the real-time driver and the other one is known as EtherCAT. On the CX processor, they have two Ethernet ports built in as you can see over here. If you were to take a bus um, terminal such as the BK9000 or an EtherCAT terminal, you simply could take an Ethernet cable, plug into the CX, plug into the BK9000, um, set up your, ether, your um, Ethernet IP addresses, and you instantly have remote I.O. capabilities without the need to add any additional hardware. And of course, this being Ethernet, you can run a cable as long as 300 feet or you can use um, switches and hubs and so forth to expand remote, remote I.O. even further. Now on these last 10 items I discussed very briefly because of my limits of time. If you're interested in learning more about any of these items, feel free to send me an email or leave a comment on the video and I will be glad to elaborate in more detail about these 10 items. So I hope you find at least some of them informative and useful.